Good morning, everyone. This is Matt Timney, your senior web administrator. I hope everybody is doing great today. Our December webinar will be mainly based on our new LED high bay pendant and MaxLite other high bay options. And to talk more about that is our director of product management for indoor, Ramesh Raghavan. Ramesh? Thanks, Matt. Hello, everybody. This is Ramesh Raghavan. I'm director for indoor industrial products with MaxLite. And we are here to talk overall about high bays and specifically the brand new launched round HP high bay that's coming into MaxLite. So the agenda of today is to cover specifically about the high bay organization that we have and spend a little bit of extra time on the round, new round high bay, plus also mention all the other high bays that we have available in the MaxLite catalog. If you look at the overall organization of high bays, obviously there is form factor, there is lumens that it can be described or differentiated as. As you look at the top, there's the round high base. We currently have the MLLHP series that we've already been selling pretty well. And we're going to transition the HP acrylic high bay to the new HP series, as you can see there. A point to note that the last bit of stock has been heavily discounted, and you'll get some great deal on the current gen HP high bay that is currently available in 90, 120, and 155 watt. Uh, but we'll talk about the new one that's coming out which will have a better performance, but then obviously the discounted one will beat it in price just during the promotion time till we run out of stock. And then we have the linear high base, which is the economic BLHE series, and our HL series, which is won many awards. We'll talk about that in a minute. And we also have the high lumen high base, which is our mod max and stacks max category, which caters to your much higher 30, 40,000 lumen requirement. So moving on to the brand new introduced product, which is the HP Gen 2 Series High Bay, which is a high bay pendant. As you can see, it's a new form factor. It comes in multiple wattages. It comes in with multiple options and supreme performance. It's able to hit up to 158 lumens per watt, up to 28,000 lumens in that same form factor, and can replace up to a 600 watt metal halide. It comes dimming standard, 0 to 10 volt, and it it's also available in high voltage 347, 480, besides the standard 120, 277. So running through some specs, we will have them available in four wattages. Nominal wattages are 90 watt, 130 watt, 160 watt, and 185 watt, meeting the lumens that you see on the screen from 11,300 lumens all the way up to 25,800 lumens. Now, that's those are nominal lumens for 4,000 Kelvin. We could get all the way up to 28,000 lumens in some variation of the product which we will note down or you can get from the spec sheet. But like I said, these are available standard in 5000K and 4000K is optional. Standard dimming 0 to 10 volt is, is available for all products and uh, CRI greater than 80 and an ambient temperature of 50C. And it's got five-year limited warranty standard and an option for 10-year warranty with specific criteria that comes with the max like 10-year warranty program. You also have the option for battery backup, on-off sensor, bi-level sensor, and daylight harvesting sensors. And you can see the different form factor pictures there. It's a nicely designed product without the lens, without the shade, without anything else. It's pretty small profile, but when you start adding those, even then it's a pretty nice compact design for the lumens it achieves. And I don't think there's too many fixtures out there in the market that can hit 28,000 lumens with a 13-inch diameter product. Anyways, quick reasons why this is an excellent fixture. As you can see, we have a, a high transmissive polycarbonate diffuser that minimizes glare. If you remove the lens off, then it will give you a higher lumen package, hitting the 158 lumens per watt. But even with the lens, it still hits about 140 lumens per watt with minimal glare. And the beam angle is about 105 degrees with the polycarbonate diffuser. The polycarbonate diffuser comes standard on the product. If you need it without the lens, you ask for it that way, and it will have to be product will have to be reworked to get you the higher lumen delivery for the same wattage. And as you can see, it's a very slim profile. In fact, without the hook, the whole product is only 13.39 inches in diameter and 4.5 inches in height without the hook. And with the hook, it goes up to 7 inches. That's a super slim product that can get you all the way up to 28,000 lumens for the whole package. And the heat sink is actually a custom designed patent pen heat sink with exceptional thermal management, helping you reach up to 50C ambient with that compact form factor. And that's the beauty of this product. And to be able to order the product, obviously there are a series of options that's available. So first thing that you do is you choose your wattage, 90 watt, 130 watt, 160 watt, or 185 watt, depending on the lumen bucket that you want to accomplish. And once you decide that, 
then you decide what voltage you want to have or what voltage you have in the in the field. Is it a 120 to 77 volt or a 347, 480 volt? 120 to 77 is standard. 347, 480 will be an option that we can work for you. And then you pick frosted lens or no lens. The frosted lens comes standard. No lens obviously delivers more lumens for the same wattage. Pick your color temperature. 5000K is standard. 4000K is option and a bunch of sensor and emergency battery backup options are available. All of those are add-on options that you would ask for. Emergency battery backup provides you up to 1,600 lumens for up to 90 minutes, and we have sensor options that's on-off, bi-level, as well as daylight harvesting. And the daylight harvesting actually requires a remote to commission. All others you would do it on the sensor before installing the product. And options for cords and plugs from 120 to 77, 347, and 480 specific plugs, NEMA approved plugs that, that can be installed on the product. Now, you also have the additional accessories to choose from should you need them. You could get the shade, which is a polycarbonate shade, which is just about four inches deep and produces some uplight. And if you wanted more uplight and also protect the downside of the fixture, you could order the drop lens and add order additional clips to secure the drop lens to the shade. The drop lens will only work when the shade is installed. And that's an accessory you can buy. And both the shade and drop lens are meant to be installed in the field, which means you will never get the product shipped from the factory with those installed. It will always be installed in the field. There is also an option for a wall mount bracket, which in, or surface mount bracket. It's a wall mount or surface mount bracket, which basically is a flat surface mountable option. And pointing out in the same scenario, the product comes standard with a hook. And if the hook is removed, then that same thing can still be used for a 3 4 inch IPS pipe mount also in the same hole where the hook is installed. So if the hook gets removed, it could still be used for pipe, pipe mount installation. And those two come standard, of course. And if you wanted a wall bracket, you could add the additional wall bracket that we have provided as an accessory. And again, wall mount bracket will be field installable. And then, of course, modular wiring where it's needed. We have 120 volt or a 277, 480 volt modular wiring drop, which will also be available as an accessory. This again will have to be installed in the field and an MSC sensor remote, which will be used for the daylight harvesting sensor when installed to commission the product. And this remote is one to many, which means one remote can commission many products. You don't need multiple remotes. One remote can commission many sensor products. And talking about a few other details that comes typical to any high-end max light product, we have an option for a 10-year warranty with labor included you would need to go through the MaxLite registration process to be able to get that. This product comes with a UL listing and FCC and DLC premium listing because of its exceptional lumens per watt and the high quality of chips used. The items that we've indicated as standard will be always in stock to make sure you have quick delivery, but all accessories and options are considered special order. We will maintain minimum stock of all of those, but if we have a large order that needs a specialized item, please call in advance or contact MaxLite so we can get them for you on time as you need them. And obviously, as with any other MaxLite product, you also get the ability to get audits, lighting layouts, ROI calculations, rebate assistance, and technical support, which comes standard with any MaxLite product. And applications, of course, as in any other high bay, you could use them in retail and big box stores, auto showrooms, gymnasiums, warehouses, manufacturing facilities, any place that require, that has a mounting height of larger than 15 to 20 feet or higher up can be met with, can, be, can, can use these products. Not just this, any highway product that MaxLite offers. We also made available some exceptional marketing material for this product. If you actually go to the website, the landing page for this product, if you click on the marketing material tab, you will actually see a FAQ sheet, a highway brochure, as well as a cell sheet, which does a quick ROI calculations with some very generic numbers. Of course, if you see something missing here, please reach out to us so we can add this and make this better and better as we go forward. But this is an initiative across MaxLite products where we will have these available up front at launch and, of course, continue to improve them as we go along. And the product itself should come with the instruction manual, but if you need specific instruction manual for the product, it's also available on the website. With that, we'll move on to the other high base that's also available in MaxLite. We'll just do a quick overview of them. In the round category, we also have the MLL HP series, which we've had for a couple of years now. It's also a small profile product, slightly larger than the HP series we just discussed, but also provides an exceptional almost 140 lumens per watt. This is available in two wattages, 85, 140 watt, also DLC premium listed. 
And the uniqueness of this product is that it allows for you to be able to add on a reflector to it, which will now make it a narrow profile. So the standard beam angle is about 120 degrees, and I think you can get it up to 70 degrees with the addition of that reflector. And all these are radial aluminum fins, which is very unique. It's not the typical UFO highway that seems to be permeating the marketplace. Exceptional design, great quality, and it's got a slider trade design where to install the wiring, you can slide out the driver tray and install it, and comes standard with a hook, which could be removed for attachment of a pipe mount installation. And again, like I said, this comes in two wattages, 85, 140 watt, and got its features and data sheet on the website. Moving on to the other series of high bay, which is a linear series. Quickly, we talk about the HL series high bay. The HL series high bay is positioned as a higher tier product with exceptional design. Look at the number of awards we won. We recently won also the Engineer 2017 Product of the Year Award, Bronze Award, and the ADEX Award. So we won many, many awards for this product, and it also comes with DLC premium listing. We have the option to add on a lens to it, option for 10-year warranty, and a great, great product that was launched end of 2016, which run for a little over a year. The key about this is that not too many products out there will produce you 25 plus thousand lumens in a 14-inch by 24-inch form factor. A lot of people produce two feet for 24 inch form factor, but typically the width of those products are much larger, which means the transportation, storage, and installation is super easy and super lightweight on this product. And as you can see, it comes in three wattages, 100 watts, 150 watts, and 200 watts. We are looking to upgrade this product line to match the HP, the round high bay series in terms of lumens and wattages later in 2018. But as you see here, this comes in multiple options from higher voltage, sensors, translucent diffusers, different options for wattages, and also an option for a narrow reflector, narrow aisle beam pattern on this thing. So the, the data on this has been available for a while, so you can definitely look that up on our website. And the other linear product, which is taken off in a big way, is our economic series high bay. Now, the HL series with design are positioned itself to be a higher tier product with multiple different options. It's more a wide, robust offering for the HL. The BLHE is intended to be a low-cost, mass-market product where you can fit larger, larger. You can bid against any, any, any product out there. And I think by price alone, we beat almost everybody out in the market. And these come in three specific wattages, 90, 135, and 162, hitting up to 21,000, almost 21,000 lumens. This series is available only in 5,000K, as opposed to the HL series, which is available both in 4,000 as well as 5,000K. And all products, including the 135 watt, are going to be dimming. As you can remember earlier when we launched the product, 135 watt was launched as a non-dimming product. We've upgraded it to be a dimming product. So all three wattages will become dimming and comes with B-hook and chain mount standard and additional options for surface mount or pipe mounts available for extra purchase. And this one does not have a BBU installed option. We do offer a field installable battery backup and options for motion sensor. And, and again, this product again is DLC premium listed in all three wattages. So it's a great product for economic applications and mass market where you have a lot of products to sell in one shot and be economical too. And with that, I'm going to hand it over to Shanali, who's going to talk to you about the high output high base that we offer. And that will complete the max light portfolio of high base. So for every project, there is an option available. Thank you. Thanks so much. And I'll be here to talk to you guys about two quick product lines that are managed under the outdoor lighting portfolio. The first is our ModMax series, which is our economical solution for modular flood and sports lighting. So the ModMax comes in three flexible wattages. It comes in 210 watt, 420 watt, and 630 watt. And it's designed to replace up to a 1500 watt metal halide. Now, it's specifiable in two-row module configuration where each module is 105 watts, so you can have between two, four, or six modules. More than just that, each row of modules can pivot by itself, which means it gives you the flexibility to get that angle and distribution that you're looking for, and each row can be specified in a narrow, medium, or wide configuration. For more details on what the ModMax looks like in action, feel free to take a look at the case studies that are linked at the bottom of the slide, which will give you an idea of what it's like when these products are put to the test in the outdoors. So the ModMax does come in three different configurations. It comes standard in an Arceo configuration because it'll most likely be used as an outdoor flood. 
but it can be used in more indoor gymnasium settings or inside court settings where you can mount it as a high bay configuration as well. In the high bay configuration, the driver box is mounted in between the rows of the modules, and then you will have your high bay bracket where it can be mounted indoors. Another option for high bay lighting in the outdoor portfolio is our StaxMax series. Now, StaxMax is a veteran product for us, and it has a similar value proposition as the ModMax series, but in a, a sleeker looking package. Just like the ModMax, it is a flexible lighting system, and it can be specified in one, two, and three modules, where each module is 180 watts. Both of these products, the ModMax and StaxMax, are of course available in 120 to 277 volt or 347 to 480 volt. And much like with the ModMax, the StaxMax comes standard with an Arkeo mounting for flood applications, but it of course also is provided with a high bay mounting for high bay applications. The StaxMax also comes with a few different options that the ModMax does not come with. For example, the StaxMax is available with an additional 20 kV surge protection, and it is also available with an external 3-pin photo control receptacle for daylight sensing options. And on top of that, even the heaviest configuration of the StaxMax conforms with a 3G vibration standard rating. So this is great for more of a harsher or you know, unstable environment where you need high output flood lighting or high bay lighting. Furthermore, the fixture is IP66 rated, and much like the ModMax, it can be specified in narrow, medium, and wide optics. Again, for more information, definitely take a look at the case studies that were linked on the previous slide, and feel free to reach out to me with any questions that you may have. As always, at the end of the year, we like to remind everybody about our social media platforms. We are hoping that everyone is following and sharing MaxLite on social media, either being through LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter or YouTube, you can check out everything we have to offer as far as our latest product lines, videos, articles, or case studies. So please follow us on all social medias. Thanks. Along the same lines, we ask everybody to stay updated and subscribe to our MaxLite newsletter, product announcements, press releases, and webinars. If you go to our homepage, you'll see at the bottom left-hand corner a subscribe button, and you can subscribe to the latest news from MaxLite. Well, that's it for our December training webinar. Thank you for attending very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to use this opportunity to ask any questions you may have about MaxLite or the products shown in this presentation. Thank you and have a wonderful holiday season.